and done. All right, Jeffy, I helped you build your Lego Ferris wheel. That's so awesome, Daddy. Look how much fun they're having. <laughs> yeah, they're having fun, so just play with your Legos. <laughs> Jeffy, be quiet. <laughs> Shut up, Jeffy! Marvin, he's just having fun. But like, he can be quieter and have fun. Like, like Jeffy, let's play with the little Lego people. Look, I'll be the fair man. The fair man? Yeah, it's the fair man. He runs the fair. Everyone having fun at the fair? Oh yeah, I'm having fun at the fair. See, look, they're having fun. But wait, Danny, the weatherman said there's a 100% chance of a meteor strike. A meteor strike? Jimmy! Why would you do that, Jimmy? Oh no, Danny! Five people dead! What a shame! Jimmy, I'm not helping you build Legos ever again! Oh. Who's that? Clean up this mess! <sighs> Hello? What? Goodman, what are you doing here? Hold on, it's raining. What? Okay. Hey, stop it! Why? Why? What, what, what was that for? Let me in. What? Okay, come on! So, Goodman, what do you want? Jeffy didn't clean up his Legos. No, Marvin, I told him to pick it up and then he yelled, bite me before running off. <sighs> so, uh, what's going on here? A meteor hit Legoland. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what do you want? I need your help, Marvin. What was what? Well, my dad's coming to town. If you think I'm rich, he's richer. I'm only worth $500 billion, and he's worth over $2 trillion. So I'm poor compared to him. Well, what do you need my help with? I need you to kill my dad. But kill your dad? Why? Because he's coming here to sign his will that gives all his money to his cat, Mrs. Puffy Pants. And I'm cut out of the will completely, so I get nothing. So I need you to kill him before he signs that will to his cat, so I at least get his money. Why is he giving his money to his cat? Because he hates me? And the worst part is, he's bringing his cat here to sign the will in front of me just to make me mad! What? Okay, so why do you need me to kill him? Why don't you kill him? Because everyone will suspect that I did it. They won't be suspecting you! Marvin, you can't do this! I'm not gonna do it, baby. I mean, what would I even get out of it? Marvin! That's the million dollar question. Because I'll give you a million dollars! What? A million dollars? That's not enough. Marvin! I would need at least... 50. Marvin! 50 bucks? Okay, done. No, so, no 50 million. No, nope, you already said 50 No, 50, 50, 50 no, million, no, 50 no. million dollars, 50 mm. oh, Who's that? Oh, that must be him. What? I invited him to your house because you're going to kill him. Well, I'm not going to kill him. Sure you are, Marvin. Let's go down there and meet him. And once you meet him, you'll hate him so much that you'll want to kill him too. What? Marvin, you can't do this. Well, I'm not going to kill him, baby. <sighs> Unless I get 50 million. Marvin! Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, hey. What's this? It's What's your this? will. What's this? It's your will. This? It's What's your this? will. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. It's my will. And your name's not on it. Why? Why is your name not on it? Why is your name not on it? Oh, I know why. It's because I'm giving all my money to my cat, Mrs. Puffy Pants. <laughs> See, I told you he's an asshole. Hey, who's, who's your bald friend over here? Oh, it's my friend Marvin. Cut the crap. We know you don't have friends. Hey, Baldy. How much you paying you, huh? I'll double it. <laughs> wait, wait, so you have a cat? Yeah, yeah, let me inside and I'll show you it. Oh, okay. Well, there she is, the two trillion dollar cat. <laughs> God, I hate that cat. Well, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Let me go ahead and sign this will, that way my son doesn't get any of my money. Wait, why don't you want your son to have any of your money? Why? Because I hate his guts. Hey, son. Yeah, dad. Hate you. <sighs> I know. Well, why do you hate him so much? Last year on my birthday, he got me a gift card! What, a gift card? Yeah, it was a Ferrari gift card! I didn't know what else to get him! You could've just went down to the Ferrari dealership and got me a car yourself! Well, I didn't know what color Ferrari you wanted or the model or anything! So I just gave you a million dollar gift card so you could get what you wanted! Wow, a million dollars! Can you believe the name of this guy? What am I? Poor? Ugh! I'm gonna go ahead and sign this will, Jimmy. I'm getting tired of your crap! Marvin, what are you doing? Stop it! Stop it, he's about to sign yeah, it! Stop him! Hey, you watching, Jimmy? Stop you it, watching? Marvin! Come on, what are you doing? Oh, wait, 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 don't sign it yet. Are you hungry? You know what? I am hungry, Miranda. How about you go get me a, uh, a filet mignon wrapped in 24 karat gold? What, where am I supposed to get that at? I don't know, Marvin, but go get it and make sure you poison it. What, poison it? Yeah, go on, go, get uh, it! Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go get it. Thank you! Okay, that should work. Marvin, what's taking so long? I'm making your dad his meal. Wait, that, that's not a filet mignon, that's ham! Well, well, I don't have a filet mignon, I don't have rich people food, so all I have is... Oh, the, the cat's here. Oh, Mrs. Puffy Pants, go! Yeah, leave! Alright, good. Oh, okay, okay, um, so yeah, I don't have steak, so I, I just got him like a piece of ham. Alright, now put the poison on there, let's go give it to him. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have poison. You don't carry rat poison on you? What, no. Alright, hold on. See, look, this is rat poison, okay? Okay. Here, just gonna put some on there. Oh, that's, All right. that's a lot of poison. Yeah, we, we need that. Now, take it to my dad. Let's go. Okay. Who's a good Miss Puffy Pants? All right, Dad. Here's your food. Oh, nice of you to finally join us. 
Miss Puffy Pants was telling me a little secret. Oh, well, what, uh, what, what was she saying? Oh, she was just letting me know that you were trying to give me a piece of ham instead of filet mignon. Oh, well, at least she didn't mention the poison. And that you poisoned it, did it? Well, you try to pull a fast one on your old man, you're not getting nothing. I already signed the papers. No! My money! Hey, hey, Jimmy, you want to know what the best part is? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding with you. What? What? No! He died! And, and, and he already signed the will! Oh, my money! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No one else knows he signed that will, so we can just rip it up and pretend he never signed it. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, and I already sent a copy to my lawyer. Now I'm really dead. Oh, he already sent a copy to the lawyer, Marvin! Okay, how about this? How about we just call his lawyer and see if there's a loophole? He can't really give $2 trillion to a cat. That's a good idea, Marvin. Let's call him. Hey there, I'm Steve Staleberger, talent agent and Frank Goodman's lawyer. Hmm, must be sleeping. No, he's dead. Oh, what a shame. Frank was a good man. Good man. So why'd you call me? Well, this is his will right here, and I was wondering if there were any loopholes in it to where I could get all his money. Hmm, and who are you? I'm Mr. Goodman. I'm his son. Oh, I remember you. Frank hated your guts. Well, let's take a little look-see here. Oh, do not give any of my ex-wives a single goddamn penny of my money. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. What? Well, it says, do not give any of my money to my son, Mr. Goodman. That doesn't look good for you. Well, let's see here. It says, give all of my money to my cat, Mrs. Puffy Pants. Now I say, I say, who is a Mrs. Puffy Pants? Right here. I'm Mrs. Puffy Pants. But, but you just said you were Mr. Goodman. No, I didn't. I'm Mrs. Puffy Pants. Hmm. You don't look like any cat I've ever seen. Yes, I do. See the ears? Meow. Uh, and is this your cage? Oh, it sure is. I'll get in a cage for two trillion dollars. Well, I don't see any other cats around, so I guess I have to give this money to you. All right, I'll go to the bank and withdraw it in cash, because I'm pretty sure cats don't have bank accounts. Nope, cash is fine. I'll be right here waiting for it. All right, I'll be right back. Well, Marvin, I can't believe these cat ears actually work. I know, there's no way he actually believes you're a cat. Hey there, I'm looking for a Mrs. Puffy Pants? Right here. Yeah, hey, I got a call from a lawyer who said it was part of the will that I'm supposed to spay you so you can't have any babies. Uh, what's spay mean? Oh, it's where you scoop out all the reproductive organs in a girl cat. Oh, well, you can cut my balls off for two trillion dollars. Wait a minute. Did you say balls? Oh, I meant, uh, Arby's roast beef sandwich. Oh, okay. Well, come on over here, Mrs. Puffy Pants. Let me huh? see what I'm working with. Okay. What, what? Hold on. Mm -hmm. What the? That's a big crank. What? what? That's not a Mrs. Puffy Pants. That's a Mr. Puffy Pants. I mean, you can still cut it off, can't you? No, no, no. That's not how this works. I gotta go tell the lawyer that you're not Mrs. Puffy Pants. No, 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 no. no. Please don't tell the lawyer. Oh, Marvin, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Oh, oh, I got it. What if your wife wears the cat ears, then she can be Mrs. Puffy Pants? I'm not doing that. I don't condone any of this. Well, uh, uh, baby, please. There you go, baby. You look great. I hate this. Now remember, when he gives you the money, you have to give it to me. I say, I say, I am pissed. I have 60 dump trucks full of money outside and no Mrs. Puffy Pants to give it to. Now why did you lie to me, son? I'm so sorry, but we found the real Mrs. Puffy Pants and she's right behind you. Hey. Hmm, I guess you could be a Mrs. Puffy Pants. Give me a meow. Meow. <gasps> yes. <laughs> now I say, I say, I have had it up to here with all of these shenanigans. Will the real Mrs. Puffy Pants please stand up? I say, I say, will the real Mrs. Puffy Pants please stand up? Now that looks like a Mrs. Puffy Pants. No, don't give her the money. She doesn't deserve it. Come on, Mrs. Puffy Pants. Let's go to the dump trucks outside. There you go, Mrs. Puffy Pants. We got about a hundred more dump trucks coming with your money. God, I hate that cat. Well, look, she's already rich, so there's nothing you can do about it now. I'll think of something, Marvin. Will you marry me, Mrs. Puffy Pants? What? You can't marry a cat? Sure I can. Oh, what's that? She said yes. Wait, oh, breeze! Like, I didn't hear her say yes. Hey there, do you take this cat to be your husband? Uh, she said she does. And do you take this cat to be your wife? I do. All right, well, I pronounce you cat and cat. You may kiss the cat. Great. Uh, now I want a divorce, and this is all mine. What? You, you can't just divorce like that! No, I did. Don't. What? Oh, were they really married? Yeah. And they're really divorced now? Yeah. What? what? 
All right, this is my last box of money. I just got to load it up on my private jet. Well, you got all the money you wanted, Goodman. Your dad just had to die and you had to marry a cat to get it, though. Sounds like a good day to me, but I'm a man of my word, Marvin. So here's your 50 bucks. I wanted 50 million. You didn't even kill him. He died of natural causes. So be lucky you're getting 50 bucks. Okay. Oh, Booberry Bear, what are you going to spend your $50 on? Whatever you want, my butterfly britches. Two for 20 at Olive Garden? Sure, baby. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to throw up.